Could exercise be causing you to gain weight? Happy spring, everybody. How'd you do in the March Movement Madness Challenge? Did you follow along with the Build Strength, Burn Fat, Feel Better workout plan? Or maybe the Improve Your Balance and Core Strength plan? The exercise is making you feel great. You're sleeping better. Your joints feel better. Your mood is better. But why in the heck isn't that pesky scale moving in the right direction? Hi, my name is Amy Van Lu from Be Healthy Enough, doing what I love to do, sharing my knowledge and experience, hoping to inspire you to find what being healthy enough means to you. As I'm recording this, it's the end of March, which means the March Movement Madness Challenge is over. I did pretty good. This is where I checked off what I did. I had to switch around a couple workouts, and of course I missed a couple. couple. <laughs> Yesterday, I pulled the covers over my head as I heard the stirring of the Van Loo critters. Ruski's down here sleeping right now. You do not need an alarm clock at our house. After a few snuggles and kisses, I reluctantly got out of bed. My morning routine is to get up, go potty, and then get on the scale. I've been doing this for 30 years now, and it's my control system or my way to keep my weight where I like it to be. I stepped on the scale thinking to myself, I've been exercising more consistently. I've been even lifting heavier weights. My diet isn't too bad, although it was raining a lot in March and I did crave some comfort foods. But I was good yesterday, so I step on the scale and bam, the darn thing is up again. Has this ever happened to you? You're motivated to lose weight. You jump head first into an amazing exercise program, but it doesn't seem to be helping with your weight loss goals. Please, please, please don't let that pesky scale keep you from reaping all the benefits of exercise. Stick with me as I explain what might be happening, okay? The first thing is you might be experiencing temporary inflammation. When you work out build and with weights, it causes little tears in your muscle fibers. This is why you might feel sore after a hard workout. Your body heals these little tears making them stronger and tougher. And that's how we become stronger. To your body, these little tears are similar to your stubbing your toe and it goes to work trying to heal it. It's gotta fix that thing so it'll send or hold on to fluid in that area. This is called acute inflammation. The extra fluid may show up on the scale, but just like your stubbed toe, it's only temporary, okay? What do you do? Just know that this might be happening. Maybe take an extra rest day after exercising really hard. Or better yet, don't get on the scale after a really tough workout. I sometimes don't, and it, it really keeps my mood and my motivation up. Next, you cannot exercise away a bad diet. I can't say that loud enough. Have you ever thought this? Hey, I just sweated through that really tough workout. I deserve that donut. No, you do not. If you're working really hard, you might burn 300 to 350 calories exercising. And that trans fat sugar laden donuts about 400 calories. And it just sent your body into a blood sugar spike that's gonna cause you to be hungry all day. Exercise is not an excuse to eat more food. If you are trying to lose weight, like most people over 50, why blow all of your hard work by making poor food choices. Along with not helping to budge the scale, poor food choices can cause all kinds of issues, usually centered around hormonal imbalances that cause your body to hold on to fat. To make matters worse, exercise does increase the release of a hormone called ghrelin. This hormone promotes hunger. When you start an exercise program, pay really close attention to your hunger. Maybe use a food journal or a food tracker to see if you are eating more than you used to. Finally, your body might be just stressed out. Exercise is a good thing, but it also puts your body under stress. If you pile exercise on a bunch of other lifestyle stress, such as working too many hours, not getting enough sleep, drinking, smoking, or eating that junk-filled standard American diet, or I call the sad diet, Exercise may become a part of the problem as opposed to a part of the solution. Without proper nutrition and sleep, 
your body will not be able to recover from the inflammation caused by exercise. And over a long period of time, this can cause and lead to chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation, if you haven't already heard, is known to be the cause of many of the major diseases, including arthritis, obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. Stress can also cause the release of a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is that hormone that tells the body to store everything, and especially fat, because you might need it later to run away from that saber-toothed tiger. This will definitely show up on the scale. And one last note, if you thought I would say muscle weighs more than fat, you guessed wrong. Muscle does not weigh more than fat, then lead weighs more than feathers. And I know that sounds really weird, but a pound is a pound is a pound. Where the misunderstanding comes into play is that muscle has a much greater density than fat. This is what represents one pound, one pound of fat, one pound of muscle. This muscle is a lot smaller. One pound of muscle is a lot smaller than this one pound of fat. So what might show, it might not show up on the scale that you're losing weight. Muscle might be making your genes feel a little better, fit a little better, feel a little better. So why should you exercise if you're gaining weight? Because I said so, just kidding. My whole point is that exercise is just one piece of the puzzle of losing weight or getting stronger or simply just getting healthier. If losing weight is your goal, just keep going. Don't give up. Give those unexpected added pounds a couple of weeks to work themselves out. And if they don't, take a step back. See if there's any other aspect in your life that needs fine tuning. All right, that's it for today. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. If you're not a member of the Be Healthy Enough community, why not check it out? The Motion is Lotion for Your Joints workout is still free, still. And it's a great way to get moving and feel better. I'll put the link below. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.